coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good Sunday morning. We're starting to look at some of the storm destruction from Friday night. This was just north of Mattoon, Illinois. You can see some major damage to homes and uprooted trees even. Now the National Weather Service says this was caused by an EF2 tornado with wind speeds up to 125 miles per hour. The National Weather Service says it was on the ground for nearly 16 miles across parts of three counties. So I've made a map of that area that you can see and that tornado touched down in Shelby County, which is just outside our viewing area down here around Windsor, and then it tracked through southern Moultrie County, just missing the village of Gaze, and then it lifted just to the north of Mattoon. And all these points that you he see here are where there were some damage reported, some homes, apparently there were some people trapped in Mattoon, but no injuries out of that storm. So fortunately it did dodge the city of Mattoon, but it still caused quite a bit of destruction through the northwestern part of the Wabash Valley. Now temperature wise right now we are seeing temperatures down in the 20s, so it's a cold start to the morning. 27 in Terre Haute, 27 in Sullivan, 28 down in Vincennes, 29 in Flora, 31 in Paris, and 32 right now in Washington. A look at the Storm Team 10 clouds and radar shows a clear sky out there, so we're expecting plenty of sunshine for our Sunday. You can see some clouds trying to drift in here from the northwest, but they're falling apart, running into some high pressure. So what I'm tracking is plenty of sunshine. Temperature is going to be climbing back above average, not going to be feeling too December-like. And then we do have some rain back in the forecast as we get towards the middle of the week. For today, again, plenty of sunshine. Temperatures climbing back above average. For this time of year, we should be around 40 degrees. We're going to make it up to 50 this afternoon. Going to be a little bit on the breezy side, but nothing like it was yesterday. Southwest wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour at times. Then we'll see that clear sky continuing into tonight. So if you need to do any yard work, maybe some more cleanup from the wind that came through Friday night, you have plenty of dry days to do so. And now it is going to be a lot warmer than it was yesterday. And not as windy, still breezy, but nothing like yesterday. But then we'll get to Wednesday. That's when we're going to start to see our chance of rain pick up, especially as we go into Tuesday night even. Then into the day on Wednesday, and especially on Thursday, Thursday, that's when we have the better chance to see some more rain. So as you look at future cast for the rest of the day, again, plenty of sunshine out there. The wind coming up out of the south, bringing us that warmer air. So as we go into the afternoon and evening hours, still seeing plenty of sunshine. And that'll take us through tonight. We'll keep the sky clear. But as we get into the day on Monday, we'll start to see a few clouds try to drift in here. Overall, still plenty of sunshine, especially for the first part of the day. And temperatures will continue to rise despite that cloud cover. So as you look at for today, 50 degrees, sunny and breezy. Temperatures still above average. Again, we should be around 40, so already about 10 degrees above where we should be. Southwest wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour, maybe gusting up to 20 miles per hour. Then for tonight, 32 degrees under a clear sky, just a light breeze out there. South wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we get into tomorrow, again, a few clouds out there, but still plenty of sunshine. Temperatures topping out in the lower 50s, warmer, breezy, still wind gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. And as we look at the next seven days, that warming trend doesn't stop there. 56 on Tuesday, we'll start to see the clouds increase. Then some rain showers arrive as we get into Tuesday night, going into the first part of Wednesday. But look at temperatures, back to 65 degrees on Wednesday, 63 on Thursday. Then a cold front's going to be coming through. That'll be cooling us down, also bringing those rain showers few lingering showers Friday morning down to 48, and then by the time we get to next weekend, we'll see highs back in the upper 30s. So forecast not looking too December-like out there at all with temperatures in the 60s, but if you're wanting some colder weather, it looks to come as we get into next weekend.